Hello. I have done a little bit of research before I open these so that I can maybe keep this in at five minutes. I'm going to do a uh, quick overview of what I got in both my Ipsy and Birch boxes for um, August 2013. So first thing is the card that we got in Ipsy. And in Ipsy, there's a cute little bag. It says uh, Glamour Academy this month. And the first thing in my Ipsy bag is uh, Noya, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Kosher Naturals, Lip Balm, um, the ingredient list on this is great, there's no, no dimethicone, there's no parabens, there's no synthetic fragrances, this is all really good stuff. Um, so it's just a lip balm though, there's no color to it, it smells a little bit like kind of cherries-ish, and it's pretty good. I've actually got it on right now, I don't have any lip gloss on. Um, but it's pretty good. Um, I'm leaning toward lip gloss personally more lately, but I am. that's a good product. So next thing in my um, Ipsy bag is the Michael Todd uh, Chew Organics. It is a jojoba charcoal facial scrub, and uh, qu after quickly looking through the ingredient list on this, there's no fragrances, there's no parabens, uh, there's no dimethicone, there's lots of healthy stuff like aloe and coconut oil and jojoba and uh, let's see here, jasmine and lots of other things. Um, all pretty good. I do not see dimethicone on this. I'm going to do a little bit closer, uh, more thorough search on this, but looking forward to trying this. I always love scrubs. Um, this will probably be a really good product for me. So let's go on to the next item in my Ipsy bag. Um, next item in my Ipsy bag is from Pacifica. It is the Light Multi Mineral BB Cream. I don't know if you can see that. All in one. Um, the ingredients on this are awesome, except that it has dimethicone in it. So for me, personally, I can't use it. But the ingredients are on this. If you have no problem with it, uh, on this are excellent. Love this brand. I've got some of the perfume. Actually, I've got a lot of their perfume, and I love this brand, and I love the fact that they're branching out into makeup. I just wish it didn't have dimethicone in it for me personally. And um, if you can use this, give it a try. I have not opened this. I will see if I can um, maybe like check out the swap boards and see if there's anything else that anybody got that might be interesting to me. But that brand is awesome. It's all natural, you know, the very natural with the exception of that, the dimethicone. So, and it, dimethicone is not unhealthy, it just breaks my face out. So, if you haven't watched my videos before, I avoid anything that has dimethicone in it because it's not one of those things that I can use once and be okay with. It just breaks me out um, badly. Next thing in my uh, Ipsy bo uh, bag is City Color Cheek Stain. And this one is in pink. And I have looked at the ingredients on this one. This one's not so healthy. This one's got parabens. This one's got paraffin. This one's got, it does have dimethicone in it, which for me personally doesn't work. Um, synthetic wax. Um, aluminum. Actually, I'm not sure if that's aluminum starch off something or other. Anyway, this one's not as healthy. Um, so I'm probably not going to try that. If anybody's interested in this particular one, um, hit me up. I'll probably swap if there's like a couple of things we want to swap for. Uh, last thing in my Ipsy bag is the uh, Pixie Lash Booster Mascara and um, the ingredient list on this. I don't think you can read that. Um, but anyway, the ingredient list on this is pretty good and it doesn't appear to be uh, waterproof, which is one of the few things that I really like in a mascara. Mascaras are one of those things that I tend to be a little bit more lenient on because they're on my eyelashes and um, I really, really prefer waterproof. Um, I kind of, in my last video, went on a little bit of a diatribe about like waterproof mascara versus uh, regular. I'll probably give that mascara a try because I do actually like uh, the ingredient list. I am looking for something that is like either a waterproof or a smudge proof. Something that's just not going to end up like all over my face if I go in the pool um, is really my key. Like if there's a little bit of like under eye thing going on here after an hour, we're good because I've got like waterproof mascara. The waterproof the mascara that I'm using right now, it does that. So I'm just kind of accepted that I'm going to use a little bit of moisturizer and like wipe that area off underneath my eye after I swim. But I don't want like pools of stuff like coming down my face. Um, so waterproof mascara is sort of 
like one of those things that I'm a little bit more lenient on in terms of ingredients. Still with no with the dimethicone for me. So on to August Birchbox, and I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. I am trying to keep this short so you actually watch the whole video. Um, in my Birchbox, they actually had some things in here that I was interested in and really happy with. So first thing is that you got the Ann Taylor Birchbox uh, coupon codes. There's a 20% off. Uh, one item or 30% off of two or more items from Ann Taylor. This is great, except for the fact that if you go to their website right now, if you sign up for their email, you get 40% off. So, um, but if you don't want to sign up for the email, you've got coupon codes. I did try to just kind of check this on Ann Taylor Loft. It won't work on Ann Taylor Loft. It only works on Ann Taylor. Um, the promotional code is Birchbox. So it's not a uniquely identified uh, code, and you all can have it. <laughs> um, next in my box is Kaylin. Um, I double-checked this particular brand. Um, I actually wrote the company because on their website, the ingredient list does not include dimethicone. But on the bottom here, the ingredient list shows dimethicone. What they said is that they just haven't updated their uh, website yet. This, the ingredient list that's on the bottom of the product is what's in the product. Don't go by what's on the website. So I can't, I'm not going to use this, but what I noticed is that I've got, I've been using the Mica Beauty uh, Gel Eyeliner that does not have dimethicone in it, and this bottle is about the same size. This lid will fit on my Mica Beauty, and it has this cute little brush in it. So I am going to probably try this little brush at some point. It's I don't know how to give you an example of exactly how large this is. Um, it does feel, though, like when you put it on your hand here, it, I don't know if I can show you this, it does feel like you could get maybe a very thin line out of this brush. And so I'm probably going to throw this on top of my Mega Beauty eyeliner and give that brush a shot. Um, but I'm not going to be able to use the um, eyeliner. But the company was very responsive and uh, got back to me like basically the next day. I wrote them late at night and they got back to me the next day. And that's awesome. So next on my birch box for August is the Wish Deodorant Swipe. It reduces odor, reduces hair growth, and protects and firms. I looked this up on EWG and it's not exactly healthy in any way, shape, or form. So I'm not going to be using this. I don't know if it works. The other thing I wanted to comment on for Birchbox, if this is supposed to reduce hair, hair growth over time, how is one swipe going to help us figure that out, that out? It's kind of a little bit hard for people to kind of, I guess, judge this particular product on one little sample. Um, so moving on, next item in my box is, same brand, Wish um, Exfoliating Body Wash. Um, as I think I mentioned earlier, I actually really love exfoliators. I love uh, scrubs, that sort of thing, as long as they're fairly healthy. And this product has fairly healthy ingredients except for synthetic fragrance. It is, if you can see there, it says coconut milk. That doesn't make my, does not make my nose itch. Um, so I will probably give this a shot, but it will probably not be a regular everyday type use thing because I really am trying to avoid anything that has synthetic fragrance in it. The rest of the ingredient list though is really good, so really encourage the company to think about possibly finding some natural um, fragrance options for their products. Um, moving on even further, um, let me double check something really quickly because I can't remember off the top of my head. Yes. All right. The next item in my birch box is OC8 Professional Mattifying Gel, 8-hour matte, matte finish. Um, usually primers and matte gel, mattifying gels have dimethicone in them and sometimes other nasty stuff. This one I looked up the ingredients and I also looked it up on, I've never heard this brand at all before. Um, so I am looking forward to trying this because the ingredients were all great. The There is no dimethicone in there and um, I think the EWG score was... Let me look at this. Uh, it was a 2 with the Cosmetics database. So this is just awesome. Um, look, really looking forward to trying this because I always love trying, um, if it's not going to break me out, mattifying gels, things that make you look, you know, a little bit like you but better. Um, and I suspect that this will be great for, if it works really well, this should be great for like any time that you think that you're going to have like a maybe a family gathering or some something where you're gonna you know that people are gonna take your photo 
uh, or even maybe professional photos. Um, so I, I am looking forward to trying this because occasionally I do have situations. Actually, I'm also wondering if this will help if, like, say, you're, you want to stay matte looking in heat. Like, obviously, if you're sweating, it's not going to help. But if, uh, say, it's just really hot out and you kind of get that kind of weird look about you. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. Next product is the Curl Keeper Total Control for Frizzy Hair, Curly Hair Solutions. And the ingredient list on this is really short. And it's actually not that bad for you. Um, the only thing that's in here that I really wish they would change is the fact that it has fragrance right there. Um, this is made in Canada, not too bad, um, or not bad at all. And it is a, let's see here, it's a four with the cosmetic database, which is probably a little bit higher just because of that, that fragrance there, right there. Um, the rest of the stuff in here, there's no dimethicone, there's no uh, parabens, there's, this is fairly good. If they would switch out or remove the fragrance, it would probably be like a two. Um, fragrance gets you like um, an eight factored into your score, and the higher the number, the worse the product is. Um, but I am definitely looking forward to trying this, as long as this doesn't make my nose itch. Um, it won't become a daily use item because of the synthetic fragrance, but I am looking forward to trying this as something that might be something I would use every once in a while. All right, so I think that's it. Um, I'll show you my card really quickly that came with Birchbox so you can kind of see what the pricing is on these different items for full size. Um, if you have any questions for me, uh, let me know comments, and hopefully you enjoy the video. Have a great week. Why did I give you a thumbs up? Ah!